Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the last row value in AppSheet. And uh, let me show you how, how it looks like. So what I want is, this is the reference column I have. Once I enter the reference column, let's say one, two, three, I want the last row value of this current row to be appeared here. As you notice in one, two, three, the reference column here is the one, two, three. The last, I mean, the current row value is 2000. So I want this 2000 whenever I choose the reference, which is one, two, three, to display in the last row value. To achieve that, you have to go to the app editor and let's do that. So in my app editor, I have this simple uh, data the name of the table and the unique ID, the ID is the key column. And then, and in the ID, I just simply use an expression in auto compute, unique ID. And then reference column, this is for example, you are adding a data, let's say an apple. I want to know the last inventory of a specific item called apple. So here, last row value this is displays the last uh, item count and then the current row value which is editable and this is the current count so we have to put the last row value an expression so we go here then we go to auto compute and always put here in initial value initial value we have to use this expression called any then select what is the target table? The target table here is data table. And what is the return column? So the return column, I wanted to know. So the return column is always the current row value. You have to select. Then you have to choose the unique. What is in the target table, which is the data? What is the key column there? So the key column is the ID. So I'm going to use ID is equals to, then you're going to use this expression called max row. And then what is the table name? Table name is data. And then we need to know the max row number. The highest row number in that table that contains ID we're in. So the highest row number which is the unique ID, then we're in this row that what's the reference column. So you have to put this reference column is equals to the reference column, A, to the reference column. Then one, two, three. Okay. Oops. It's here. Okay. This row reference column is equals to the reference column. Hit save and done. Then once we refresh this application, let's say I want the last value of reference is one, two, three. So the current value is 2000. I'm going to choose this. Then we put the date, let's say today. And then reference column to one, two, three. As you can see, last row value is 2000, which is correct. And when I use this four, five, six as a reference column, so the current values is 40,000, four, five, six. So it's showing here the last row value is 4,000, uh, 40,000. So this is how you get the, the last row value of a column. So if you learned something in this video, don't forget to subscribe. If you have any comments, you can email me or you can keep it in the comment section. And see you next time in my next video.